my name is Aileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is what are the layers of the sun that radiate most of the light that reaches the earth. So the, the sun has a pretty complicated structure. I would try to uh, kind of summarize it a little bit. Here we have the core. And the core is where the fusion is going on. So the, the way that the sun powers itself is through a fusion process. So it takes four hydrogen atoms and it makes helium atom and so forth. It creates all this energy. So the core has the fusion process going and is about 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. So it's really hot. It is hotter than anything that you can possibly imagine or recreate here on Earth. So after this core, which is about 20% of the body, you go through the largest part of the sun, which is the transfer zone. So this energy is, being, um, is moving outwards from the sun and it's moving in different types of zones. The first zone is the radiation zone. So it uses radiative uh, transfer, so the, just the energy just radiates out and this is the radiation zone, and the temperature actually drops to about 7 million degrees Fahrenheit. Actually, the radiation zone and the, uh, the zone after it is really what produces a lot of the pressure that makes the core so hot. So the next uh, zone is convective zone. And the convective zone practically takes the energy that has gotten out through the radiation zone and it kind of moves it in large circles which is why when we sometimes we look at the sun we see like this granulation and it's because the ground is sort of moving up and down and that has to do with a convective cycle so large masses of energy just rise and then they drop back and you can see the circular sort of movement in the same way that you would look at peas boil in a in a pot of water uh, it's kind of the same uh, process and then after that we have the photosphere and the photosphere is the layer that you're thinking of. So the photosphere is when the sun becomes, goes from being opaque to being transparent. So this is where visible light is actually emitted. And uh, so this is considered the surface of the sun because this is where the visible light is being emitted towards us. And this is kind of the visible part of the sun, so therefore we call that the surface. Now the photosphere is small and it's about 6,000 degrees Kelvin. And I will talk about in Kelvin because most people like to think of sunspots and so forth and generally we know those temperatures in Kelvins. Um, and then after that we have what we consider sort of the atmosphere of the sun and then we have the chromosphere which is sort of like a red outer edge and then we have the corona which is like responsible for the solar wind. But the, most of the visible light that is emitted from the sun comes from the photosphere. My name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is what layer of the sun radiates most of the light that reaches the earth?